Yo, what's up back, Jacob Gargos? Uh, I just came home from party, so bear with me if I'm like, sound a little off, okay? But I just saw this list from Rolling Stone, where they published the top 15 rap songs of 2023. And if you know me, um, I have some very hot takes. I think this has been one of the worst years in rap ever. I listen to a lot of the albums that have come out, like from all the established artists, right? Like even some like smaller guys. But you know, I, I am big on music. I like listening to good sound waves passing through my ear canals. That is something I like. So it is very weird to see a magazine like Rolling Stone, which is about music, right? Like the, the name is a band. Um, just, I think, drop some of the worst opinions possible to man. When you think of the best rap song that's come out this year, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options, you know? There's some, you know, I, I personally believe there's some, it's largely bad music, but there's a lot of stuff to choose from, right? So even if you got like a random AI, which has never listened to music before, you could probably get something all right, you know? But the geniuses over at Rolling Stone decided to put Sexy Red's Ski Yee as the best song of 2023. Um, I just want to say, I have, I have no real beef with fucking female young thug over here, but Jesus. I think she makes some of the most like, boring, uninspired trap music in the world, right? Like, I have no clue what's special about Sexy Red at all. I, I, I don't know. I, I, like, if you guys know, you can leave it in the comments, but like, yeah. <laughs> And, and then this list goes on, right, with number two, two Latter Feet Cardi B. And it's like, okay, that that's weird. I feel like there's, there's been better music. You know, it, it wasn't like an amazing year, but there were definitely better rap songs. And then number three, I Spice's Deli, which at this point, I don't want to be like sexist, but I feel like this guy's trying to, like, trying to hit on these, trying to hit on these women. And the weirdest thing is they linked that video with the 16 rock twerking, which is, you know, if you know me, I'm against minors being sexualized. You know, hot take alert, everyone. I know, but um, a bit weird, right? And then this list goes on. Um, you know, there's some like alright artists included, like V's and Lil Yachty in the top five. Then Ken Carson, which, you know, I get that you probably need some opium representation on the list, but personally, I do not think Jennifer's Body is the best song off of A Great Chaos. Then at number seven, we got the cartoon man himself, Drake, featuring J. Cole. Which is alright, I guess you need some direct representation and also J. Cole, right? Two superstars, it's... I think it's kind of obvious, so I don't, I don't really blame them for this. But then this list keeps going, right? Just random trap songs. And only at number 10, we found people like Kendrick Lamar, who, you know, are pretty influential for me, and also make some pretty good music. Um, and then we get, like, people like Ghana or whatever, Central C, Doja Cat, Quavo, and then Kali B actually second placement. Which, you know, I am just confused as to why this list turned out this way. I, I think this kind of represents like a bigger part of rap. Well, I personally, you know, as somebody who's like a really, really avid listener, I think I'm kind of tired of it. Like, uh, I don't know, there's still some stuff I put on, but I feel like it's just stagnated so much. Like, I'm not seeing any fucking like improvement at all <laughs> when it comes to a lot of the music, which is kind of depressing, right? Because it's like something I've been listening to for like fucking years. So it's just so weird to see at this point right because if you go back five years i feel like you're bound to hear some very similar music it, it seems like there's just like a hole in the culture and that's why i appreciate people like i guess Lil yachty you know as many people as believe that he's connie i like that he's at least bringing like some new fresh air into it right same with like danny brown and jpeg mafia you know they, they have like very experimental past it's not special but i i definitely think that the new album helped like popularize that music for like other audiences but um and it's also fucking it's cool fucking shit it's cool it was fucking awesome i, I love that album dude i love i love danny brown and jepic mafia I, I love music who's with me but you guys let me know what you think about this list i'm personally as you can hear not a fan i'm sorry if i'm a little zone out right now i <laughs> yeah but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below yes i truly want to hear your opinions and this is definitely not because that will make my video do better trust me i care about you in specific i care about you the person watching this video you john i care about you john okay so you guys have a good night it's, it's super fucking late so i'm just gonna i don't go to bed sorry if this is not like crazy editing i just wanted to get a video out but you know love you guys have a good night and peace out bye bye